Thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm Nicholas of One, and in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about probably the most commonly requested aspect of golf from any student that walks into any golf lesson, and that is, I need to hit it further. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at two things: something that you can do in your setup, and then also something that you need to do in your backswing that's going to help you generate more clubhead speed. And to hit the ball further, you need more clubhead speed and effective spin. So if you want to hit it further, watch this video. It might just help you find that extra 10, 15, maybe even 20 meters. Okay, so number one. And number one we're gonna be looking at is your setup. Setup is extremely, extremely important, especially when we're talking about spine tilt. Now, what is spine tilt? Well, it's when you take your setup that when you're hitting your driver that your lead side shoulder is higher than your trail side shoulder. Now, why is this important? Well, there's this common word that we use in golf called angle of attack. Now, if you're a person who doesn't have a very, very fast swing speed, it's very, very important that you get a good angle of attack at the golf ball, especially when hitting your driver. When you're hitting your driver, you're trying to hit up on the golf ball. The more effective you hit up on the golf ball, the more likely you're going to reduce the spin of the golf ball. Now, why did I say depending on what speed? There are tour players out there that hit down on the golf ball with their driver, but they are producing excessive amounts of speed. We're talking about 120 to 125, even faster clubhead speeds. And when you're producing that kind of clubhead speeds, you don't need a positive angle of attack a slightly downward angle of attack is probably a better thing. But let's face it, 90% of golfers struggle to get to 100 miles per hour of club head speed. So it's very, very important to get your spine tilt in the right place. Now, it's very, very important to understand also that when you're trying to get that spine angle into the right place, that you're doing it from the correct pivot point. Now, what does this mean? This means when you're setting up, that your pivot point becomes your hips. So when you push your hip or your lead side hip, which is the hip closest to the target, towards the target, that your trail side shoulder goes down in your setup. That there is the most effective way of doing it. You can do it the wrong way by simply rising or lifting the lead side shoulder, but that's not gonna work for you coming into impacts. So just remember, when you're taking your setup, if you're trying to get your spine angle into the right place, do it from the correct pivot point, and that means you're doing it from the hip, and you're gonna push your lead side hip or your target side hip slightly towards the target, which is going to cause the trail side shoulder to get into a good position. So that's tip number one. If you can implement that into your setup, it's gonna help you to produce very, very good angles at the golf ball and like I said, this one here is all about reducing what I would call the spin number. Number two, we need to look at shoulder rotation. The more shoulder rotation you get, the more club head speed you're going to produce coming into the golf ball. And you do not need to exert fast swing speeds, you just need to create more shoulder turns. Now, here's the big thing. Increasing shoulder turn doesn't mean increasing arm length in the swing. Nine times out of 10 people say, I say to people, swing it longer. They start to get bends in their lead arms and their trail arm. And then from there, they start to fire from the top or what we would call casting, it can cause them to come over the top and you start to lose club head speed. So you need to understand that you need to turn your body more effectively. And that means using your hips as well to create that turn. Now, when you take your setup, what you're trying to achieve as a minimum is 90 degrees of shoulder rotation in your back swing. Now, you need to do this by using your hips. 90% of club golfers can only get roughly between 60 to 70 degrees, maybe even less, of turn when I view them for the first time. So, and that's because they don't use their hips effective enough. So what I want you to do is you're going to turn your shoulders as far as you can, and then from there you're going to engage your trail side hip and get yourself past 90. 
Now, if you have flexibility issues, it might be an easy, even easier way to get your lead side foot heel slightly off the ground. That's going to help you to get that 90 degrees of turn. Big important thing is, is when you're doing that, that when you come back to the golf ball, it is also the first thing that you plant back down on the ground as you're coming back into impact. So try and get as much shoulder turn as you can. Don't increase your arm swing length, increase your body rotation. Now a really good simple drill that I use with most of my students to help them achieve this feeling is to drop the right foot back in your setup and from here, just for a while, don't look for accuracy, look for turn. And turn your shoulders back as far as you possibly can by activating your hip. And then from there, you'll start to notice you're going to produce more club head speed. It may be unstable at first, but when you're making a change, you've got to understand that it's not easy to do in the first place. So, two things. Get your tilt right in your setup so you can reduce spin and get more shoulder turn in your backswing to produce more speed. More speed, less spin, means the ball's gonna go a hell of a lot further. So try those two concepts out next time you head out to the driving range and see if it helps you find that little bit more distance.